Hey you right guys, Trophy Hunters Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 16 of This Is Us. I was about to say of New York, that's the name of the episode. <laughs> was like New York, New York, New York. Uh, episode 16, so we're very, very close to the end of the fourth season. And I have to be honest guys, it's been a while since I've watched a This Is Us episode. If I get up exactly when it was, but so the bottom of my list, so the date currently is the 6th of, 6th of October. 2022 of course the last time i watched an episode was september 10th it's almost been a month i was so far ahead on patreon that i was like i need to slow it down <laughs> i need to slow it down a little bit and luckily a lot of other shows were kind of there as well like dharma and cyberpunk and stuff so uh, i mean by the time this one's on youtube this is like old old news but yeah it has been a while and i i've missed it so uh, be good to kind of finish this season off so episode 16 if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to This Is Us, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description. And one of the comments down below where they will be probably on the final season by the time this one's on YouTube, honestly. Uh, but for now, let's do this. Okay, whatever that's about. Was that Rebecca? Hey, listen, I know this is a, uh, a big three only thing. I just wanted to show you this casual Friday outfit that Beth sent. Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I'm always here for some Jack Rassic Park. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know, he looks really cute. <laughs> oh, no, no one even about to smile. I found a clinical trial for mom. She meets all the criteria. It starts next month. And I would like your help getting her on board. I knew Randall was going to be like this. Like, and just, you don't think no, a bad oh, thing. this is a little premature? She just got a diagnosis. It's in St. Louis. St. Louis? How far is that? For how long? Where they are. Nine months. Oh. It's at an excellent research hospital. One of the best I'm in assuming the fall. They receive excellent medical care and okay, attention. Okay, this is insane. Well, this is crazy, stats. right? This is nuts. I mean... I mean, it really is up to mom. It is absolutely up to mom. Yep, it was. But mom's gonna want to know what we think. And I think we should be united in the position that this is good for her. Kevin doesn't seem too united on that one. Maybe D even does Kate, I don't know. She's more on board than Kevin. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, yeah. Kevin's Kev, about... Is this what they fall out about? Uh, you know, I don't... This is what's best for her. I need you to trust me on this one. Uh, okay. If you do nothing, it will get worse. Like, that's guaranteed. Okay. So, it's not guaranteed, obviously. I don't know. <laughs> I can imagine if they do absolutely nothing. Okay, my little Pearson spawns. Spawns? <laughs> yeah, spawns. Yeah, why not? We have exactly one day in New York City one before day. we head upstate. Randall's debate tournament. So, have each of you picked the one activity you would like to do? Everything Kevin McAllister does in Home Alone 2. Why Everything. Home Alone if he's not Home Alone? Because City Alone sounds stupid, but much. <laughs> City Alone. A huge toy store, like the one Kevin McAllister goes to, mm. obviously. All right, Randall. Home Alone 2 is a good film. For dioramas. My okay. God. Katie, go. I want to go to a fancy hotel and drink tea like Eloise. <gasps> Eloise. It's a Bridgerton reference. Do I understand that reference? I think I do. I'm probably well. Might be Pride and Prejudice or something. I want to go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. There's a there's a painting there that I used one to One day, work. not one okay, week, guys. Seriously. What's your pick, Dad? Uh, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Hmm. Got the drive to decide. Yeah, we do. Come on. Come on, guys. Up, He's going to pick something really sentimental and wholesome and everyone's going to be like, oh. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come with us to New York? Yep. Molly's gonna come over and we're gonna hang out and make fun of Dawson's Creek. <laughs> I need to watch Dawson's Creek. The students in Kevin's acting class are gonna be performing monologues. He should be good at that. He's been monologuing his whole life. Randall, be nice to your brother. He makes it big, to be fair. <laughs> Keys, I'm driving. Thank you. Try Randall out. Seems to be a little theme where they have them all linked. Hey, this is where Kevin McAllister stays. I think. Oh my what do you 
I think. Pretty cool. I'd stay here. <laughs> if I, I could really afford it. to be special for you, Mom. Mm -hmm. Is Jack going to be a proper dad on a trip? I hope so. Look at that guy. I think we're just giving him money for no reason. It's not no reason. He has talent. Hey, I've got talent. Oh, Kevin. Stop. Stop. Yeah, Stop. real talent. Hey, come on. Stop. Hey, hey, boy. Hey, both you cool it. Is it not going to be the trip Jack planned? <laughs> Followed up by 4.30 to Met for Mom. Right, we gotta remember, I don't think that's going to go to plan at all. Sundays. Here we go, one of you gets lost. I'm sure we have to get out no, here. I we transfer the map. to the... No, the map, the map has an orange line that goes up to 81st Street. No, so it's a oh. couple more stops back. Look, I got it. No, you don't, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't know, Jack. Hey, can you ever say what activity you want to do? It's because I haven't decided... Sit on the yeah, train, apparently. Queens on the weekend, so... Uh, We're going to Queens. Uh, Should have listened to your wife, bro. Cook a Sometimes pain? I sit in my apartment all alone. Wishes. Kevin wishes. Him I think at the right time paying. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. You'd have a drug addiction, but. Brenda, what'd you think? It was cool. I liked it. You were awesome. Come on, Randall. Are you coming out? Everybody's going. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try and stop by. Great. Well, it's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. That's not Miguel, so that doesn't work out. Hey, I know some looks. <laughs> I have a silly question for you. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to ask. Do it anyway. What? No, come on, Mom. <gasps> Can I walk the red carpet with you tonight? I know I tell you I never want to do that sort of stuff, but I just feel like it would be a shame to waste the stress. Well, yes, yes, of course. Yeah? Yes, of course. Ah, That'd be great. Thank you. I'm, I'm so excited. I never get to do this sort of stuff. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Yeah, of course. Alzheimer's Rebecca's is. <laughs> I was gonna say the cutest version of Rebecca, but uh, never mind. Mom, you look stunning. You think so? Thank like you. a younger Helen Mirren. Oh, oh a younger Helen Mirren. That's even Mirren. better. Good choice of words, Randall. I don't think we should talk to her about this today. No. No, don't do this to me, man. We agreed. Ugh. All right, the trial only has so many slots. We don't want to waste time with indecision. It's the weekend. True. Today, tomorrow, Randall, it's not going to matter, okay? Also true. We'll have breakfast. We'll talk to her about this first thing tomorrow, okay? Fast. She's so happy right now. I'll let her have one great day. I'm with Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Mom, Watch you know, him miss the slot now. Clutches. Do a day, Randall. If you do something, I'll be actually annoyed. Hey, guys. I think we have to head a couple blocks down that no, way. That's not right. We, we get... Uh, Jack, you don't say anything now because you got lost in the first place. And then once we get there, we can transfer to the C train. It'll be a lot faster. Jack, okay. listen. Okay. okay. It's, it's okay. It's a big city. Hey. What's going on with you? It's about her you, dad thing. There we go. You kept talking about going into the city with your dad when you were a kid, and uh, he, he sounded so fancy and cosmopolitan. Oh, that's her dad. Her dad's a knob, mate. Jack, yeah, my dad definitely knew his way around the city. That's that's true. We didn't know his way around a marriage. But do you know what he also knew how to do? Or having a relationship with his daughter. He knew how to throw a screaming fit. Oh... No one likes someone who has a screaming fit. I want our trip. With my lost husband and all. Lost husband that cost us what? Oh, shit. Two hours. <laughs> gonna get five pretzels. And hey, don't even think about not having mustards. No kids of mine are gonna have a pretzels without mustard. Without mustard? I'm your kid then, Jack. Mustard on... Wings and mozzarella sticks. That should be good for everyone. Uh, mom, mom doesn't like that stuff. Maybe we should go with some salad and some other healthy stuff. No, no, I'm fine, Randall. We're on vacation. Come on. We're good. Thank you. As even in the past, it's showing Randall's always trying to ch check out Rebecca is. I'm happy that Kevin has found the right place to study his craft. Mm. You know, I will say, Randall's the one being a bit off this episode. Pretty famous musician. Really? No, 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 no. Your son is being very generous. I. He looks like uh, Christoph Waltz. Like a young version of Christoph Waltz. Which is a good thing. Christoph Waltz is one of the more attractive older men. For sure. <laughs> Search up. That is Christoph Waltz's son. I swear that could not, not be. I kind of wanted to be Joni Mitchell also, but I think you probably had more of a, a shot. You got that, that thing. 
I can tell. Definitely not. Cool, these two are so floating, I called it. Fun, I'll be back at 6.15 or 6.30. I am paying for dinner. Kirby, it was nice to meet nice you. Is she dipping because there's a bit of connection there and she's still thinking of Jack. Hi to uh, Mike and Charlotte. Great job today. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, well, that's right. set mom up with that guy? Maybe. Oh, she's okay by herself. Maybe I should go after her. My God, Randall, she's a grown woman. <laughs> You gonna spend the rest of your life worrying about mom? Uh, I'm kind of with Kevin. I'm gonna be honest. It's your world, mom. <laughs> Randall, go do something else. Why are you here if you're just like upset? Oh, Randall does this from time to time, don't he? Hey, just like Bridgerton. How many more of these tiny sandwiches are they going to bring? Yeah. Is it me or is Kevin weirdly comfortable at a fancy hotel? Gosh. Hey, Teddy wants to be Kevin McAllister. Go to Mom's museum. No, I am oh, tired. I see her. I've learned too much today already. Jack, Jack, it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's fine. We had a fun day. No, 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 no. See, Mom doesn't even care. You know what? I care, okay? How about you get to the museum? I'm gonna finish up with these maniacs, get them back to the hotel, then you just meet us over there. What? Are you sure? Yeah. She goes by herself then. Okay, she seems alright, but. It's back at the hotel. You guys stay here, okay? I'm gonna hail your mama cab. Taxi! 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 Is it still open? It's. Oh, you know, it's a different. It's that if you not. You walk to the corner. It's a weird dead zone. <laughs> And you are in front of a truck. They probably can't see you. And my kids were right there, and I i don't know. Does this thing ever start to feel more comfortable? Uh, That's a lot of baggage. See you later. <laughs> I had love, you know? And now I have my kids. And maybe from now on, maybe that's enough. Nope. Nope. Well, this is your spot, so... Oh. You're too young for that, Rebecca. Maybe if you were like 80, sure. Do you want to come with me? I'd love to. He's kind of charming, this guy. I'm not uh, but let's let's not take a cab. Let's walk through the park. It's much prettier. I can't believe you thought Mom would like that guy. Why wouldn't she? Randall. <sighs> Kirby's a great guy. He seems like an actual alright guy. Enjoy your pizza. Go. Mom definitely isn't ready to date. Who made you the decider of whether or not Lit she's that ready? That pizza looks I so good. I'm her to traipse around New York studying my craft. Mom can't spend the rest of her life being sad about Dad. She deserves to have some fun. Yup. I'm with Dad Kevin. Mom to be happy. I'm also with Kevin on that. I, yeah. Usually I'm with Randall. That's why I have to keep pointing it out. I'll be right back. Are you okay here what? for a bit? I am. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. Don't right try back. anything, I, Randall. Talk to you imminently. Yes, of course. <laughs> So where are you staying while you're in New York? We are staying, um... We're st uh... Oh my god, Rebecca! Okay, I found a treatment center because you need- <laughs> Here we go. It's the plaza? The plaza. Fun! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go make sure the execs are happy. So nice meeting you guys. Very nice to meet you. You too, Cameron. I thought he was about to pull it out. I'm waiting. It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's okay. Hey. Don't you do yeah, I wasn't it. Gonna bring this up tonight. Don't do but, uh, it. This is a very promising clinical trial in St. Louis that started oh in a couple God. of weeks. I think we should really consider... Oh, uh, you said not tonight. A, cl a clinical trial. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Was well, he all right? Oh, Kevin knows. Kevin knows. Oh, he's going to be for you, and rightly so. Rightly so. We're Tim Kevin on this all day. Don't cut now. Okay, they're building it up. No. No, it's oh, not the sorry, game. Sorry, man. The is No, it ain't. Not for her. Not a oh. chance. What? Oh, she was so excited. I can't take this. I can't take this. Oh, hello. Hey. That was, uh, that was a painting. Uh, I didn't make it in time. What? It's okay. It's not a big deal, Pete. It is a big... You know what? Hey, I know what I want for my New York thing. 
to hey, break guys. into the museum. Hey guys, come on. Put your shoes on. Put your coat back on. Right coat. now? Yeah, no. Let's go. Why? Right. Come on. The biggest thing is that it would take nine months. But I figured one of us could visit. <gasps> zip, zip, zip. You couldn't help yourself, huh? Yeah, he could not. He could not. He promised me he wasn't going to bring this up to you until tomorrow. Or he was trying to find an excuse to push forward his agenda. Well, maybe if you hadn't uh, abandoned us to go schmooze with your Hollywood friends, you would have been part of the conversation, too. Oh, Randon, sh you? no, go I away. Two minutes at my premiere, Randall. Uh, yeah, no. literally. Boys, I'm going to go get some air. I'm going to get my coat and go outside, okay? Maybe I should go with her. Don't even say it. Come on, man. You promised me you wouldn't say anything until tomorrow. Man, she was upset. I was just trying to give her some hope. And I'm trying to give her she one evening. It's not about her losing her mind. Oh. I've been taking care of mom for 20 years. Because you won't uh. let anyone help you, Randall, even when we want to. You have this whole uh, holier-than-thow attitude toward me. Yeah. 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 I don't know that at any minute yeah. you could take off from Morocco to go do a movie or go live in a trailer or hook up with Susan Lucci. Well, it was her daughter, but whatever. Well, <laughs> stating facts, okay? Well, since we're stating facts, Randall, this whole acting career that I have, the one that you've never really taken seriously, this is what's paying for mom to get the best professional care. Ooh. This. Unless you want to pay for it with your city councilman's salary. <laughs> we went as low as money. Screw you, Kevin. What else do I have in the bag? Oh, I earn more than him. <laughs> I'm with Kevin, though, on that whole thing. 100%. This is awesome. Oh. Here are some warm sugar-coated nuts ah. in honor of your mom's childhood trips to New York. <laughs> Just give us a minute, okay? Mm. Come on. <laughs> a fat response. Next time we're gonna go to the Met first, though. Yeah, next time. Next time, yeah. Next time. Yeah. Always, always the next time. Have you ever ridden in one of those? No, uh, no those things are terrible for the horses. Oh. oh. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Plus, it's like pretty much just a cheesy tourist thing. I never understood why people would come up here and do something so lame, you know? Ooh, bad choice of words. Bad choice. So you went to know. Um, you know what? I, uh. The bad for the horses point was I actually, probably fair. I'm, I'm not feeling very level. well. And I think that I'm gonna, um, head back to the kids. I'm sorry, Kirby. It was nice to meet you. It's the name Kirby. Oh yeah, what's the painting? One year when I was um, eight or nine, there was this woman in here who was just staring at the painting. I mean, she must have been here for hours. Hours? Because I left and I walked around with my family and I came back and she was still here. And I was fascinated by her. And I remember thinking that I couldn't wait to grow up so I could come back here and be just like her. So I could see what she saw in the painting. It seemed so simple that I would have come back to the Met as an adult, but I never did. Well, you tried I mean, twice. I would think to myself, next time, next time I'm going to go to the Met. Next time. Hmm. My life has been full of next times. Yeah, that's the thing you can't fall into a trap of, I've learned the last couple of years. I mean, let's face it, guys, I'm, I'm losing my memory. No, Mom, it didn't happen. No, no, hold well, on, let me finish, please. Okay. And I... I want to spend however many good years I have left, I want to spend it with my family. I want to try new things like on red carpets. That was pretty I cool. I want to make up for all of my next times. I'm not going to do that trial, Randall. Yes, Rebecca. And I really don't want to hear what either of you has to say about it because I have made the decision for myself. Faz. That woman who had all the time in the world to just stare at me. Mandy Moore, bro. Did she ever get nominated for an Emmy for this? Sure you don't want to ride to the train station? I don't mind a walk. This isn't what they fall out about then. This could have saved her life. You gotta let it go, Randall. She doesn't want She it. didn't know what she wants, man. What? She's scared. 
I spent every day for the last 20 years wondering if I could have saved Dad. Okay. And now I had a chance to save Mom, and you blew it. What? Kevin blew it. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Yes, Kevin. And you couldn't have saved Dad. You know that. Don't you ever wonder what it would have been like if Dad hadn't died? Yeah, obviously. I'm sure they think if that. If he hadn't gone back in for that dog, if our lives would have turned out differently. No. He doesn't? Uh... I don't, Randall. Do you? Yeah. I guess that's the difference with them. Every single day. But you say I know it's like such a big butterfly effect moment. You have big ones, you have small ones, but there's so many in life. You can't sit there wondering, how could my life have been different if I did this? If I'd taken that path, if I'd went to that school instead of this school, or that uni, or that college. It's like, oh, what if they were still alive? It was like, okay. Dad, no! Randall, you take your mom and your sister, you go to I was just like, right now, son. Randall could what could you have done? Dad, if you go back in that house, so help me God, I'll go through that front door and get you myself. Oh, and he didn't? Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so the dog's died then. Okay, so if he's, he's thinking if he said that. That wasn't, that wasn't in Jack's nature though, it's still a... You think Jack would have let a dog burn alive? Like maybe I think Jack maybe could have said bye to the the well. The, def, I think he would have. He wouldn't risk his life. He wouldn't have risked his life for family albums and family videos. The dog's what he went back for. So surely Kate could think that all the time. If oh, what if we didn't buy the dog? Which he had that moment. Kevin could think, oh, like, what if I had said something? And Randall's just living in this, like, zone of, like, oh, if I just said this or did this and did this. Like I said, there's so many moments in life where you could think, oh, what if I'd done this differently? What if I'd said this? What if I'd gone here? What if I'd gone to this party that I didn't end up going to? What, what, what if I didn't go to the party that I ended up going to? Yeah, little things like that. There's no point living your life that way. So I'm with Kevin. Granted, yes, that is such a big difference to like parties and colleges and stuff like that. you yes maybe there is a way you could have said certain words that would have stopped jack from going into the building maybe but at the end of the day there was still a dog in there that i don't think jack was ever going to let just burn alive i just don't think he would have done that so yeah him be randall thing like oh if i just said this i don't think it would have made much of a difference personally i don't, I don't know the difference would have been if the dog was never there. <laughs> Simple as that. So, yeah. I didn't write much down this episode, honestly, because it was just nice being in New York, doing something different. Um, and all the... It was kind of like one big storyline, which was about Rebecca losing her memory and being in New York. So there wasn't like loads of different paths of storylines for this one. Um, it was still a very good episode. I just... I can't with Randall on this situation. I can't agree with him on it. Rebecca made the choice. Oh, she doesn't know what she wants. Oh, God, we're playing that card now. And it's so... There's so many times throughout the show where I agree with Randall over Kevin. Most of the time I do. But this is the one. And it's been, like, quite a few times this season where I'm like... Randall's kind of actually starting to get annoying with some of the shit he's coming out with. Oh, it's all your fault. What? How are you going to pass the blame to Kevin because she said she didn't want to go to these trials? What are you on about? And then being like, oh yeah, I didn't say something when dad was dying or whatever and I can save her. This is completely different. She's losing her memory and she still has potentially, as she said, a good few years to enjoy life. Like let's say four or five years of, yeah, there's going to be moments where she's going to forget little things for sure. And it's going to get worse. And they're going to have to see that for sure. But with Jack, it's like... He ran into a building and died the same evening. It's so different. <laughs> what you... I, I understand wanting to do something. Like, it's... Randall loves his mom. That's... You can't deny that. <laughs> of course, that's what he's doing here. He loves her and he wants to protect her and he wants to save her. But she's made the choice, so I don't get why he's being all like, oh, let's go get, go in on Kevin, go in on Kevin, just because he's salty, because you can't be Jesus and save everyone in the world. 
Oh, whatever, yeah. <sighs> I love him. I do love Randall, but oh god. What are the comments? Seventy eight percent for this one. Uh why does Randall talk about Rebecca like she's always been a helpless baby who can't be on her own or take care of herself and make sound decisions? I mean, does he expect Kevin and Kate to not go off and live their lives? Just because he's always been obsessive doesn't mean they've been neglectful. <laughs> I'm liking that. Boom. Yes. I love that last line. Just just because he's always been obsessive doesn't mean that those that they've been neglectful. That's good. Yeah, just because he's gone above and beyond so many times and he's always been there. He's like, yeah, okay, great. But that doesn't make... Don't try and then make out that Kev, Kevin and Kate have done the least amount and they've not been there for her. And You, you don't know the conversations they've had. What's he on about? Uh, when did Rebecca become my favourite person? I love Mandy Moore's performance this season. That's what I was going to check, actually. Uh, Man Mandy Moore Emmy nominations. I just want to see if she's ever been nominated. I don't think she's won one. Okay, she yeah, she got nominated. Um and the prime time Yeah, so for for sorry, for best supporting actress that she got nominated for. I don't think she won it though. Teen Choice Awards. 20, that was in 2019, so yeah, she's done well. Primetime Emmy, yeah, she was nominated, didn't win for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, sorry. Yeah, 2019, so that would have been this season? They said in 2020, so it would have been season three, I'd imagine. That she was nominated for. Uh, we need more episodes with Jack. He's such an important part of the story. Randall has issues. He is obsessive, compulsive, controlling, a perfectionist, and has extreme abandonment issues. I get it, but come on, Randall. You were chosen and loved. Poor guy is a fruitcake, but he can't help it. He's nice, but annoying. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, he, he is. I, I do love Randall. He's done so much in the show that you kind of you still have to love Randall. I think it like elevates. It doesn't even out. It's like he's done so much good in the show. This one thing doesn't suddenly make him a bad character. But there are things characters can do where they are ruined. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think that's quite this. It's just one of those situations where it's like I can't back him on this. So yeah, rating for the episode. I'm going to go an 8 out of 10. Very good to kind of have one in New York. Something different. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want the early... And uncle reactions to this is us and patreon will be linked down below and i'll see you next time for episode 17 the penultimate episode until then take care peace